vision for learning at Vanderbilt is that it really is a very holistic experience. Our curriculum is really designed for students to be able to individualize their own learning plans. But in addition to that, we feel that students learn so much from additional activities that they might participate in. The amount of knowledge and information necessary to practice healthcare has grown exponentially, such that nobody can know it all. So really shifting our curriculum to be one where people are doing and learning as they're doing. That's the only way that people can really hold on to that essential information and learn it in context and then use it in a way that they remember it. We can get through all of our preclinical material in a year and then for the next three years of medical school we're working with patients, we're doing research, we're really learning how to be doctors and I think that that's something that's really exciting. It was challenging, you know, the first year having everything done into like one year and trying to pack the essential components but it was exciting at the same time. Our students now have a whole extra year to explore and to know for sure what it is they want to do to start to build a resume that aligns with that. And it really has given our students the opportunity to really excel. I think getting into a clinical setting a year earlier was phenomenal. It gave me so much more time to figure out what I want to do with my life. I was between probably about six different specialties, but by the end of second year I had rotated on most of those specialties. So it gave me lots of time to figure out what I liked, what I didn't like, and then I had a whole other year and a half to take electives and really refine what I want to do. Healthcare is changing really dramatically. Um, and I think it's absolutely essential that we begin to prepare our students for that. If a student graduates with what we know today about medicine, five years from now they will be woefully unprepared to practice. And so we really need to set them up now to succeed in the future and so that's why we focus so much on how to learn. It no longer works to just train to information gathering. What we have to do is train people to think and evaluate and accumulate knowledge in a lifelong way. That's the only way we're going to train great doctors who are still great doctors when they're 50. I kind of joke that um, what we're really after is C students. Um, and people kind of wonder about that. Well, what are, why would we want C students? But we want students who are creative and curious and compassionate and collegial and cooperative. And all of it just so happens that all of those words start with C, as does culture. The type of student that does well here is the student that's actually thinking about how to fix it and make it better. But the student that flourishes here is looking at how we're training them and looking at it critically and saying, why do you do it that way? Diversity is very important in Curriculum 2.0. We need to make certain our student body mirrors and looks like the populations that we serve. We want people who are going to change medicine, be transformative thinkers, physicians, clinicians, scientists and educators that will bring medicine to the next level that it needs to go. The culture here is the place where the faculty really know the students. We know about what's going on with them, we know who they are, we know why they're here and what brought them into medicine. The general feeling is that we're going to do this together, like you're not going to be stranded and alone trying to figure out how to succeed in this curriculum. Even from day one, I realized that this is a place where everyone wants to get to know you, everyone wants to support you and help you do well in medical school, both as a future physician and also as a person. I don't think that you find that everywhere. And I think the main deciding factor came from Second Month Weekend, where you're able to meet all the faculty and all the people that are coming to the school. And I just meshed really well with everyone. I felt like the faculty was really supportive and there was a place that I could thrive. We've made a commitment to you and you'll make a commitment to us and our commitment is that we're going to make you the best doctor that you can be. For me, Vanderbilt had everything. It had the Curriculum 2.0, which is unbelievable. It had the professors, it had that kind of family feel that they really cared for you and they really cared about your future career. And then also, Nashville is a great city to live in. All my life I've lived in the Northeast and coming down here, I definitely thought it might be a culture shock, a different lifestyle, a different tempo, and just a different set of values. But I quickly realized that Nashville really is just an increasingly cosmopolitan city with plenty of diversity. And you know, no matter what you're interested in, there's, there's a space for you here. We exist to train leaders. I mean, that's our mission. Vanderbilt trains leaders in healthcare who are phenomenal physicians. 
the most important thing we can do is help people become self-directed, self-motivated, highly engaged, really excited, enthusiastic, lifelong learners. And Curriculum 2.0 is designed to do that.